My name's Alex Popple. I'm a senior performance nutritionist for High Performance Sport New Zealand. Uh, I lead on the nutrition programme delivered to New Zealand Cycling um, and also support the rowing programme. So my job on a day-to-day -day basis is pretty much just trying to get the athletes to eat right so that they recover from the training. So every time they go on the track that they can train hard or on the lake. Um, and then also trying to help them to get those gains from training. So day in, day out is get faster, get stronger. Um, I can do that through various different methods. It just depends on the athlete's needs and their requirements. Well, I think the thing from a nutrition perspective across any sport is just about understanding the goals and the needs of those sports. So it's not about trying to prescribe a set diet, it's looking at their training loads, it's seeing what they actually do day to day and then trying to manipulate and address the nutrition needs around that. When we're really looking at Sam and his performances, there's sort of three main things. First of all, as I said, it's about making sure that he's fueling right so he can train hard and he can get that good training response so he will adapt to his training. Uh, the second part is also making sure that diet provides the right nutrients to him to actually allow, allow his body to, to grow and change and adapt to that training session. We also need to make sure that he's maintained his, his body composition, his body mass accordingly. Obviously power to mass in cycling is really, really important. So okay, we can be overfeeding him, giving him carbohydrates and protein to allow his muscles to actually grow and adapt, which you need, you need those extra calories to do that but that could compromise his overall performance you know, goals by becoming heavier, by increasing his skin fold. So it's all about controlling it day to day. So one thing we've been doing with Sam over the past year um, is just really periodizing his nutrition. So it could be on some days, if he's got a big training load, he's doing a lot of Ks, he might be doing a bit of a road ride, we'll try and increase his carbohydrate requirements. So that might be having a little bit more pasta or you know, a little bit of rice at some of the main meals, or it might be even that we just give him some like a banana or a bit more sports drink around some of his training sessions. Whereas if he's doing a big day in the gym and he's um, also maybe doing some transfer stuff onto the actual track where he's trying to use that power into his actual sprinting is he might be getting a bit more muscle damage. So then we might think about trying to increase his protein requirements. Um, so that might be in the training session afterwards, we look at using a whey protein. Um, it could be just using milk as a natural source. So it's just varying it from day to day like that. I think one thing when you look at the sort of the, the amateur at the weekend, um, they sometimes if they've got big heavy schedules at work and if they're at you know, school kids or whatever at university, you know, sometimes getting enough carbohydrates in to actually allow them to go out there and do big sessions. Some people turn up to the track or they go out on a road ride, they haven't taken enough carbohydrates on in that meal or they haven't taken sna uh, snacks or sports foods with them during those rides so they end up you know, bonking out halfway through those rides. So making sure they've got some ready available carbohydrates like muesli bars, bananas, your carbohydrate gels, maybe some sports drink really help them to get through those big training sessions and also you know, help their performances on those road races at the weekends too.